Tell me which mercy did he show to you when he sat on your chest on the afternoon in Karbala? This man, you remove a rule from his hand because when a person asks you, you do not want to embarrass them. And that is the same man who sits on your chest on the 10th of Muharram. That's Hussein. Before Karbala, not one mention in our lectures of Abu Abdullah before Karbala. This is Abu Abdullah before Karbala. And that's why the 10th of Muharram wasn't Imam al Hussein. Imam al Hussein for years had displayed these attributes. Karbala was when all of them came together on one day. Generosity with knowledge and forgiveness and humility and care and honor and dignity. That Hur bin Yazid al Riyahi, who was a commander of the opposition, who had blocked water from the children of Hussein, and yet the forgiving heart of Abba Abdullah forgives him. And that's why when you look at Islamic history, not only Muslims, but non-Muslims come and say, Hur and the way he was forgiven. The horse, which man is thirsty, but before he drinks the water, he says, horse, you drink, I can't bear to see you thirsty. Today, Muslim countries have no respect for animal rights, whereas the master of Islam displayed respect to his animal. Which man gives away his six-month-old baby? Which man lies on the ground with his killer on his chest? And he says to his killer, if you give me water, I will intercede for you on the day of judgment. And that's why Imam al Hussein, when you look at his biography, it's not just Muslims who have been affected by this colossal figure. No, non-Muslims as well. Look at Gandhi when he went out on his salt march with 72 people. And they said to him, Gandhi, why have you taken 72? He said, because Hussein took 72. And Hussein 72 were eternal. I want my 72 to be eternal. I learned how to achieve victory while oppressed through Hussein ibn Ali. That was Gandhi. Charles Dickens when he said that there is no way a man who takes his family and his children has gone out for worldly desires. If it's for worldly desires, you'd never take your family and your children. It dictates that Hussein's mission was but a mission for God and God alone. Nehru, when he said, Hussein belongs to brotherhood, Hussein belongs to humanity, Hussein belongs to the heart of righteousness. Look further, Antoine Barra, the famous Christian Lebanese says, No battle in history has evoked as much sympathy and compassion, and from which as many lessons can be learned than the battle of Karbala and the life of Imam al Hussein. Dickens, Gandhi, Nahru, Antoine Barra. All of them show us that Hussein continues to live in the hearts of every human being. And that's why the Imam says, in the martyrdom of Imam al Hussein, there is a heat that will never subside in the heart of the believer. تحامل عائلة إلى خادم أهل البيت الشاب المبدع المخلص حمزة السماوي أحلام ترسم صور ألام خيمة ونهر بالأيام يترك أثر محرم يا ريت لما تمر تمنيت راح العمر لا بيت وبلا خدر محرم